Since early times, people always dreamed of flying faster and even cheaper, and many have tried to build and develop technologies to make the dream for the future come true. Back in 1970s, the first ever passenger carrying commercial airplane, Concorde, was recognized as the plane that would take over the next century. Normally, a flight from New York to London would take 7 hours, but with the Concorde, the flight time would only take about 3 hours. Concorde was flown on chartered flights to destinations all over the world. However, this plane was seen to have had many problems. After its high-profile crash in 2000, combined with high fuel consumption and maintenance costs, it proved to have become financially unworkable and limited its service. Moreover, the aircraft was famously known for generating extreme noise and carbon dioxide that had been causing damage to the ozone layer. Immediately after, hopes for a supersonic flight disappeared. But here's some good news. Did you know that there is a new supersonic plane coming soon? Yes, you heard it right. Tesla's Supersonic Electronic Vertical Takeoff and Landing or EVTOL jet comes into play. This machine is said to have been what Elon Musk is dying to develop for years now. Elon Musk made these statements. At some point, um, I have a design in mind for an electric supersonic vertical takeoff and landing plane. And I think there's a particular opportunity for um, a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. Supersonic uh, electric jet. Vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. A supersonic electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. An, an electric jet. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Finance Professor. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so that you can receive more content like this. The transition to electric vehicles has begun to accelerate. Not only that EVs are faster, but they are cheaper to maintain and usually more affordable in the long run than vehicles with internal combustion engines. With airplanes, however, the transition from conventional to electric has never even begun to start. The main reason for this is the limitations of the energy density with batteries. Batteries are currently not able to fuel a plane during the entire flight. Even electric vehicles, for example, have a limited driving range, so a single charge won't be enough for a long road trip. Not to mention the long time it takes to charge or recharge the vehicle. Tesla, on the other hand, has been preparing to release a battery that has far more density than the usual lithium-ion batteries. Many battery experts suggest that an energy density of around 400 watt-hours per kilogram is dense enough for batteries to allow for vertical takeoff and landing. This is where the idea of vertical takeoff and landing technology was devised from. The VTOL, which stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing, is basically the ability of an aircraft to take off and landing vertically. This type of technology is used in many military aircraft and is especially helpful for environments that don't have enough space for horizontal takeoff. Another quoted statement by Elon Musk. To have a compelling aircraft, you only really need about 400 watt-hours per kilogram, provided your the, your, the percentage of cell on the craft on the, on the aircraft is high. It doesn't need to be anywhere near as high as the, it is on a rocket, uh, but if it's sort of at the 70% level um, at 400 watt-hours per kilogram, um, you can do very decent range. Tesla CEO Elon Musk himself stated in August 2020 that a battery with 400 watt-hours per kilogram with high cycle life and produced in volume is not far and will likely happen in the next three to four years. In addition, he already has a design for a VTOL jet and is prepared to make one when the battery density allows him to. Interview with Joe Rogan Now, have you ever looked at planes? And gone, I can fix this. I just don't have the yeah. time. Too busy making I have a design for a plane. You do? Yes. A better design? I mean, probably, I think it is. Yes. Well, who have you talked to about this? And I've talked to friends. Friends? And friends and. I'm your friend. Girlfriends. And you can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, the exciting thing to do would be some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet of some kind vertical takeoff and landing mean no need for a runway just shoot up straight yes. in the air and then Ooh. 
so, it has been confirmed by Elon Musk himself that he has a design for a Tesla VTOL jet. As I covered at the beginning of this video, the Concorde failed to succeed because of three key reasons. Fuel was costly, the plane was noisy, and the gas damaged the ozone layer. Interestingly, Tesla's upcoming electric airplane boasts of eliminating all these three issues. For one, electricity is much cheaper than fuel. Besides, an electric motor is a lot quieter than a gas engine, as demonstrated by electric vehicles. EVs are so quiet that there have been discussions about mandating fake engine sounds on all electric cars. So if I were to go down here now and shift it into drive, I'll be quiet, you're, you're gonna hear this kind of hum. So I'm pretty sure that everyone will be pleased to not hear this sound during their entire flight. Furthermore, there will be much less, if any, damage to the ozone layer because the plane is running on electricity. All of these factors make the electric plane possible to emerge soon. Normally, in terms of gas-powered planes, the higher you go, the less efficient the plane is. With electric planes, on the other hand, the higher you go, the more efficient the plane is. It is no secret that Elon Musk has divulged this before. Pay close attention to what he said because this has a massive potential for the air transport industry. Like the, I think the optimal sort of air transport solution is a VTOL uh, electric supersonic plane. Um, and, and it actually works together quite well for a, a bunch of reasons. Um, you know, uh, in particular, the higher you go, the the better the electric, the more efficient the electric aircraft is. Whereas, if you have a combustion aircraft, as you as you get higher, it, get, it tends to get worse because uh, you have a kind of a fixed aperture uh, and uh, air scoop. Yeah, if, like the engine is uh, the hole in the front of the engine is 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 a fixed size, and so you have to pick a particular cruising altitude, and so you've got to figure out how do you uh, get the right amount of air at sea level all the way through really high altitude. Um, and then you've got this issue of super, supersonic combustion that you know you see you end up having to slow the air down and, and it ends up being um, not, not that efficient. But an electric after aircraft would just get better and better as, as it got uh, higher. And because electric aircraft are said to get more efficient, the higher you go, this will actually allow for supersonic to speed far faster than you can imagine. Imagine flying faster than the speed of sound. The air gets thinner and thinner with every foot climbed, resulting in less air resistance in the atmosphere. This theory is what Elon Musk explained in the previous clip. In order for engines to operate efficiently, you have to find a way to get the right amount of air in the atmosphere. This doesn't apply to electric airplanes. There is less air resistance on the electric plane as it climbs up higher and higher, which then allows the plane to travel faster and faster. This explains why it is much easier to fly faster in space than in the atmosphere. Elon Musk explained this when he was proposing his Hyperloop project, which is a high-speed transportation system built inside a tunnel. In order to go really fast with a plane, you have to climb pretty, pretty high because the atmosphere just looks like molasses when you're going fast. Uh, so you, you know, for distances certainly under 500 miles, you spend all your time just ascending and descending and you don't really get an opportunity to spend time at cruise. Uh, so something like a Hyperloop can comp complete really well in that arena because uh, you, you instantly, or very almost instantly, enter a low pressure environment. At this point in technology's early stage, estimating the speed that an electric plane would go is still very difficult to determine. In January 2019, the Rolls-Royce team had been looking to make an electric plane that could fly up to 300 miles per hour. But then Tesla could easily surpass that more substantially with far superior battery technology and design. Whenever a new technology is introduced, the long-dominating company must make its technology choices from a broader perspective. Will they keep pace with the new technology or stick to what they have been doing for years? Long dominating companies will often choose the second choice and run the risk of going obsolete, which was what happened to iconic companies like Nokia and Blockbuster. So given that we have seen this happen most of the time, Boeing and Airbus may possibly get disrupted very soon. 
Elon Musk believes this to be true as the companies have become extremely risk averse and fairly so, their strategy makes sense until they get disrupted. Well, it seems unlikely to come from Boeing or Airbus given that they seem to be focused on very incremental improvements to the planes as opposed to radical improvements. Overall, an electric plane is certainly starting to make sense when the batteries are dense enough to allow for supersonic flight. After all, Tesla's goal has always been to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport and in order to do so, the company must disrupt the aircraft industry. Do you think Tesla will be able to disrupt both Boeing and Airbus companies? Do you believe that Boeing or Airbus will catch up on the technology or do you think that Tesla will shock the traditional airline manufacturers with a revolutionary electric VTOL jet? And how do you think this impacts the price of Tesla stock once launched? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.